How am I looking, guys? I, I feel like I feel like a pro in this. Don't you think? I think I'm ready for my bath, my first bass tournament, guys. I think I really am. But welcome back to another episode on Calvin's Fishing Channel. On this episode, I'm going to be introducing a new series called Exploring Florida Canal. That's right, folks. I'm going to be going out around the, my local area even I'll drive who knows 30 minutes to get to a spot who knows I'm gonna go look for canals anything to uh, to try catch some fishing that includes like small little ditches that are less than a feet of water to like huge wide freaking canals that span like miles I'm gonna fish it bro so today we're gonna start small there's a lake just by my not a lake sorry there's a canal that's just by my house um, I really think I can catch fish there. I fished it before. Uh, super small fish, no bigger than like that, but I need to catch some fish for this channel. So let's head out there and uh, let's catch some fish. Alrighty guys, so I made it. This is what we're dealing with. Probably can barely see it, but uh, yeah, there's some fish in here, believe it or not. It's kind of hard to see, it's kind of murky, but we will make it work. Making a change. Oh. Shoot, I got freaking destroyed. That scared the crap out of me. Let's see if I can get it again. That scared me, bro. It hit it, too. There's only one pair of treble hooks on here. Come on, where'd you go? That was a freaking nice hit. There's like a stream of like muck just in the middle of the of this canal. Damn, that was the first bite I had today. And I missed him. No, For, dude, dude, there's a fish freaking smacked it over there. I wish you could be seeing this. A freaking fish smacked it all the way down there. That would have been a, a tough fight. There we go. That's a fish, right? I bet, I bet, I freaking, yeah, there's a fish. I got a fish. I think he came off. No, he's still there. He's got a father with him too. Oh, he's in the weeds. Get up here, little largey boy. Look at that. Oh my, because my camera's off. That's, that's why I wasn't recording. All right, now you should be able to see me. Guys, caught our first bass. Wow, these guys are ice cold. Well, I'm in Florida, so like probably like Anywhere under like 70 is freezing cold, but these guys are ice cold for Florida, which is surprising. I wouldn't have thought that, but here's our, here's our fish, man. Wow. Let's go toss them back. Nice. Oh, look at this line twist right here. How, how incredible. It's, it's still going. It's still going. There we go. What the hell is that all about? 
That's all right, I'm back in the action. Oh, Jesus. Freaking bass freaking went wild on it. Oh, I saw a bass. How you doing? That's all right. Just trying to catch some. Yeah, the cold's got them all messed up. The cold's got them messed up. Where do they go when it gets cold at? Um, they try to hide in the trees because they can't move when it's cold. Yeah, I know. So they try to escape from predators. Yeah, when it got cold last year, they, a couple of them dropped out of the tree. Yeah, if they drop out of the tree, they're either dead or they're they're frozen. Well, he, when I came back a couple hours later, he was gone. It was a four foot one. It was a big one. Yeah, they get pretty big. But there's hundreds of them over here. Yeah, there's a few of them. On a warm day. Yeah, I know. They're, they're everywhere now. Need to have a cold spell, a big, a long, a prolonged cold spell. Yeah, no, they need, they need to go away. Have a blessed day. Are uh, you too, sir? Thank you. Stop by. Catch any bass in here? Yeah, I caught one bass so far. There's there's bass, cichlids, gar. Do you live around here? Yes, sir. Do you know? Uh, have you ever fished in that lake over there? Yeah, I live in that neighborhood. Oh, there's there's huge bass in there. I yeah. Caught a guy, I saw a guy caught a 26 inch bass. Wow, I caught, I think my biggest from there was, had to be like seven, eight pounds that I caught. Nice. Yeah. You have a good day, good luck. You too, sir, thank you. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it, you freaking little bass. Oh, you're so annoying. Get, get it, come on, get it, right here. You freaking, ugh. Oh. They're freaking like following it with their freaking nose. And they're just like, hmm. Ah, shoot. No. Oh, I'm not getting this back. Oh, yes, I am. I'm pulling the whole freaking stick. I don't need the stick, I just need. Oh shoot, I freaking, I popped that thing up and it freaking came right at me. Oh geez, that's a big fish. That's a big bass. Holy smokes. That's a big bass, bro. That's a big bass. Oh my God. I'm not even gonna mess around with the camera. I need to land this fish. I gotta move towards it. That's a big bass. I'm coming down to get you, buddy. Oh, there's a there's a freaking there's freaking um iguana nests like right here. Look at this bass that I caught. Oh my God, the camera's all messed up. I'm so excited. Okay, I moved a little bit closer. Look at the lure. I don't know if it's gonna focus, but look at that. Oh man. I did not expect to catch this beauty of a bass. It's a little bit deformed, I think on its mouth. Yeah, look at that. Look at its top lip. It's not as uh, big as the bottom one. A little bit deformed. So, oh man, he's got a cut right here too. Anyways, let's drop this guy back in. He's ready to go. That was a nice, that was, a, that was, what is this? That's a nice bass. Wow, whew, that was a nice bass, bro. I was not even expecting that. Holy smokes, that made my day. That was a nice bass, bro. Damn, son. That was a real nice bass, actually. Literally, it came out of nowhere, like, I'm not wearing my polarized glasses right now because like I still wouldn't be able to see them but like geez that's so weird I don't know how like deep this this uh little canal goes but like I'm not seeing these bass like come out of the, come out of anywhere they just show up it's crazy 
It's like they spawn in, you know. Oh, there's a fish. Another bass. Oh, it's a peacock bass. Look at that. Wow, look at the colors on him. No way. Alright, so guys, I've caught like a handful of peacock bass, and I never caught one with like the strand that's this, like with the dots on it. I know there's like different kinds of like peacock bass that have like different strands. I've never caught a peacock bass with like the dots on it, ever. Unless like this is like a juvenile pattern and they and their pattern changes when they grow up. I'm not sure I never caught a fish like this, a peacock bass like this. So let's let them go. No, oh my god. How many times can I get this lure stuck somewhere? Honestly. Damn it. All right, so I lost my lure and the other ones aren't swimming right. I tried it with a, some split shots. Still didn't swim right. So now I got on a weighted hook on top of that with two other split shots. And I'm gonna be using some stank, some stank gulp minnows. Hopefully, I can get some fish from it by uh, by jigging these by jigging these guys. Shit! No, are you kidding me, bro? That stuff's never gonna come out. Are you kidding me, bro? You. F Kidding me, bro. guys so that's all the time I have for today um, I caught three fish two bass one peacock bass first bass was small second bass was was decent had a little deformity in his mouth but that's okay it's a fish and the third one is a peacock bass nice little peacock bass I never caught that kind of strain before I believe so it was nice to catch a cool different strand of peacock bass so yeah guys, this is a series that I'm gonna turn into. I don't know how often I'm gonna do it. I kinda wanna do it like almost every time I go, I go fishing, but I kinda wanna do some pond fishing as well. So, um, got a new camera, if you can't tell. You can shoot in 4K, 24 frames. 1080p, 120 frames for slow motion. It's a pretty nice camera. I saved up a little bit, I had to work for that camera. You know, I don't get paid off YouTube yet. So I, got, I had to work my tail off for that camera, so. I'm super grateful for it. Um, I, I have my boat, I have a inflatable dinghy. It's about 10 foot, but the space that you have is probably like seven foot or something. It, gets, it can get pretty crowded in there. It can fit like two people max. Max, I think is like the most you could probably want to fit in there. So um, I have to, I took it out a couple times just to try it out, try to some, some lakes. I went to Lake Island Johnson's Park. I didn't really catch anything, but I was just trying to test it out. And I have to register that boat because I have a trolling motor with said boat and i have to register the boat or also get like a fine a ticket whatever get my i don't know what happened but nothing good so i have to figure that out i don't know if there's lettering on the on the on the sides or not i have to look into it so hopefully you guys will be getting some boat videos soon both freshwater and saltwater uh probably the intercoastal not offshore so uh yeah that's something really that i'm really excited about so if you liked this video, leave a like. Um, if you want to see more from me with my new camera, my new gear, uh, you know, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, see you guys on the next episode.